Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to get into ketosis and the confusions that come along with it. There's been some questions recently on how do I know if I'm in ketosis and what do I need to test, etc. Usually when people are testing, whether they're in ketosis or not, they use either a device that measures your blood ketones or urine ketones or even a breath analyzer. Okay. Blood is the most accurate. Okay. Urine and breath is good when you first start out. Uh, it's not always 100% because these two tests measure ketones in the breath and the urine, which are not being metabolized. They're not being broken down. They're like being wasted. So when you first start out, you're not as efficient and you're not burning up all these ketones. So they're coming out. You're actually breathing out fat particles and you're urinating fat, which is kind of cool if you're trying to lose weight because you, you're not actually exercising off those calories. Your body is just eliminating fat through the lungs and through the kidney. So when you first start doing ketosis, I actually like the urine uh, test strips because they're very inexpensive and you can basically test yourself all day long with a very low cost. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive, but this is more accurate. Now, what is ketosis? Ketosis is the condition where your body is creating ketones for fuel. Now realize ketones are the byproduct of fat burning, but really ketones only represent 40% of that fat. The rest, 60%, is basically fatty acids. So it's a combination of ketones and fatty acids with a very small percentage of glucose. So your body really doesn't need very much glucose, just a very tiny bit. But that tiny bit can be created by your liver from the fat and the protein you're eating. You do not need to get your glucose from dietary carbohydrates. So real quickly, I want to bring up the topic of exogenous ketones, okay? Um, you'll see these in supplements and you can buy ketones and they'll claim that'll help you get into ketosis, etc. You have to realize that ketosis is a state that has to be created by lowering your carbohydrate. So if you haven't created that state, and what I mean is creating a machine with enzymes that actually burn fat, and that has to be created over several days to weeks, okay? So when you bypass that system and take straight ketones, you're not going to lose weight because your body's stored fat is not being tapped into. You're basically taking ketones as fuel so your body doesn't have to use your own ketones or fat. So there's a really big confusion that people have thinking that, wow, I can just take ketones and I don't have to do the diet. Big mistake. The only two conditions uh, where I would recommend taking exogenous ketones are, number one, if you're a long distance runner and you're in some competition, you want some extra energy. But even then, even then I don't always recommend it. You can actually easily get your ketones from just cutting your carbs down. The other situation is, let's say for example, you have Alzheimer's or Parkinson's and you're very frail and you don't have a lot of fat to burn. All right, so the key thing that gets you into ketosis is lowering your carbohydrates. Why? because carbohydrates elevate your blood glucose, okay? There's this teeter-totter relationship between lowering your blood sugar or glucose and increasing your ketones. Ketones are an alternative fuel that your body uh, actually prefers to run on. It's a much cleaner fuel. So as you lower your blood glucose, you raise the ketones, okay? Now, normally your blood glucose should be 82. Now, as you go lower, you start creating a condition where it's called hypoglycemia, okay? Let's say you have 70 or 60 or even less, 50 or even 40. Now, sometimes you might think that's dangerous or a real bad situation, but, but think about it. As you cut the dietary carbs and you lower your blood sugar, your body's going to be running on ketones. So the need to keep sugar up even at 82 is unnecessary. So if your blood sugar goes lower and lower, the question you need to ask is this, how is your hunger? Is your hunger disappeared? Is your cravings gone? Is your energy good? Do you have good cognitive function? Is your mood good? If you have these items, this means that you're doing it healthily and your body's getting the benefit from the ketones. But if you don't, let's say, for example, your blood sugar goes low and you're starving and you're craving for carbs and you're fatigued and you're irritable and your memory is bad, then we know this is more of an unhealthy hypoglycemic reaction. 
and you probably did not develop the machine to make ketones. You probably have not done this correctly. So I put a link down below of how to get into healthy keto correctly so you can handle your hunger and cravings and energy and cognitive function and mood and really get into some deep ketosis. And just to emphasize, the real key thing for ketones is getting your blood sugars down and lowering your carbohydrates. That's the most important thing that you need to focus on. If your blood sugars are high, uh, you're not going to be running on ketones, okay? Because your body will always take the glucose before the ketones. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.